Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be taking on and discussing Hickson Gracie. He is arguably my favorite uh, Gracie family member and he is simply uh, one of the best in showing how the basics can go really far and how the most simple things can be the best things. Simplicity is the true form of sophistication and I do agree with that. Hickson Gracie has an MMA record of 11 to 0. He is also uh, a ninth degree black belt in BJJ and a judo black belt under George Mehdi and also starred in the National Geographic's uh, documentary and also The Incredible Hulk as ironically the Aikido instructor. So let's begin. So the first one here we can see he did against Helio and on National Geographic's is the Harai Goshi or the sweeping hips. I've talked about this, uh, a lot of MMA fighters do this in the octagon uh, like Islam Makashev, Fedor, Ronda Rousey, etc. It's kind of like a hip toss but you use your leg to sweep it backward in order to have the legs collapse and just have your opponent roll and fall down straight on their backs. It's a very efficient, a very classical piece of judo and Hickson Gracie uh, demonstrated it multiple times and I agree that again the basics will take you a very long way the Harai Goshi can be done in multiple uh, ways spinning uh, turning and just lifting someone up and then sweeping backwards so the next one is the body lock takedown uh, I do believe it's a form of Morotegari uh, it's different from the Kosotogake. Here is a double leg takedown, reaping with both hands. Morotegari can be translated into reaping with both hands, so it can be the double leg, the single leg. And I do believe the body lock takedown can also be classified as um, Morotegari. So, body lock takedown really can break someone's posture, and then with your drive and strength, you can really. Uh, take someone down and then you can begin to dominate the ground game. Now, uh, Crone Gracie stated that technique and the force and strength of my father created a monster in MMA and Jiu Jitsu and I do agree. Uh, when two are highly technical, the one with more strength is the one that's gonna win. That's how I believe it is. The next one is also another classical piece of Judo and it's the Ude Hishigi Juji Gatame or the um, elbow crush uh, cross hold to be translated uh, literally um, it can be done as you can see from multiple positions the mount the side control uh, if someone is on all fours you can roll and get the arm bar uh, you can uh, take it from whenever you are in back mount you take someone's back they try to go up and they put their arm on the mat you can take it as it's extended and then you lock an armbar so here you can see the basic pose of uh, Juji Gatame here is showing you how uh, to have the thumb up and here you uh, stabilize and pin the head here it's getting it from someone trying to escape the side control and they are rolling away you take the arm and then grab the pants to have leverage and also pin them down let's see it again Here, if someone is trying to stack you, you can extend the hips. A lot of people do this mistake because in judo, if you lift someone and their head uh, is no longer touching the mat, the referee will say mate and stop the match. Uh, some people do that, but all they are doing is extending their opponent's hips and eventually they tap out before the head even is lifted off the mat. So let's look at the sequence here, side control, he lifts, with slight transition into knee on belly, mount, ground and pound and eventually when they turn their back and out of desperation and frustration is when Hickson locked the rear naked choke. It's a very classical sequence, let's look at it. First you have the Yoko Shiho Gatame or the side uh, hold or the side control we call it uh, like many judo 
uh, techniques, whether it's grappling or th just uh, ground grappling or standing, throwing, there is a lot of variation to a technique. Side control is no exception. Whether it is uh, in the gi, you either hold the belt, the pants, you just sometimes lock the arm the way we do it in jiu-jitsu. Uh, here it's kind of like a WWE pin, but here there is a counter to it. You can put your, reg, your leg around the neck and lock a side control. Here is the classical side control that we know of. We either lock an S grip. Uh, it's far more effective um, because you are really pinning the shoulders down with it. Here you have like one shoulder up, but then when you transition, I believe this uh, variation is called Muni Gatame, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's the one that's uh, commonly used in uh, PJJ rather than uh, the one where you grab the belt because you can get a triangle choke. Um, there's another footage of Hell Sharp productions like this one showing the counter of the triangle choke from side control. Here you can grab your own collar, uh, but obviously we are talking MMA context, so none of these options are valuable. Uh, the only one is the the one I showed, the Muni Gatame, where you lock the hand and the neck. Uh, and the shoulders are pinned down heavily so it's I'm just showing the judo classical variations uh, there are tons more but I'm not gonna show them because uh, the video will just be uh, way too long here you can see the mount uh, position so Hickson transition uh, mount uh, from side control to mount and here Again, you can do like a, an arm triangle, you can do, you can lock both arms, you can just, uh, or in MMA, you can go in a good position in order to strike like a ground and pound. So uh, the b foundation of the position is the uh, Tate Shiho Gatame, or, you know, commonly known as the mount. There's many variations, as I've mentioned, and it's a very good position not only to pin someone down whether it's cops waiting for backup or grappling where you can i mean score points but i'm not a big fan of points or just simply mma in order to strike and street self-defense And finally, he finished it off with a Hadakajime or the naked choke. Naked choke meaning there's no gi involved. It can be done clasping the hands and creating like a triangle with your forearm and bicep. Kind of like what Khabib did, uh, but uh, he popped the jaw with it. Here, uh, it's the, rear, the classical rear naked choke that we are used to seeing in MMA and Jiu Jitsu. Here you can roll from back mount as Hickson does it. Uh, again classical piece when you take the mount or the back mount you just simply resort to either an arm bar or uh, a rear naked choke some also resort to triangle but that's another thing so here the kosoto gake kind of like a body lock but you clip one leg uh, on the outside and just go down so it's clipping on the outside not like an inner reap but it's uh, finishing off with of course the uh, rear naked choke here you can see you clip on the outside and then you go down but since in mma there's no gi you clip uh, using a body lock and then uh, tangle the leg and go down so kosoto gake i did this in this series the octagon analysis uh, Almost every one of them used it, Hoist, Ronda, Khabib, uh, Islam Makashev, and uh, Fedor Emelianenko. It's a classical piece, very uh, instinctive, um, but uh, also very uh, effective yet so simple. Again, the basics will take you a very long way in the case of Hicks and Gracie, and he did a brilliant job of showing that. Here you can see another body lock takedown, uh, taking the back rear naked choke or arm bar this was his finish or the ground and pound until the fighter forfeits uh, the match so a lot of people talk about especially joe rogan like how he just honed the basics and it made him a champion the basics will always work and i do agree look at this just simple mount and someone when they turn their back to the ground and pound he would go for the rear naked choke uh, 11 to 0 there's a reason why he's undefeated here the 
almost like a Kezagatame and then transition into Jujigatame, body lock takedown, mounting, fight uh, rip shots, ground and pound, and eventually when they turn their back, this is where he gets the choke. Uh, here a brilliant defense to the double leg takedown, taking the back eventually and locking the rear naked choke. The basics will take you a very long way. And here he wasn't young, I believe he was in his 40s and fighting or late 30s. So again, uh, not only the basics will take you a long way, but I believe his approach also helped him become undefeated. Uh, he didn't play guard. He uh, always went for top position because psychologically speaking, it's a very threatening and frightening uh, position, especially in MMA. I hope you enjoyed this brief uh, octagon analysis, how the basics will take you a very long way. There's no fancy throws, just body locks, uh, clipping the leg, kosoto gake, or a double leg takedown. If it's something fancy, he would you go for harai goshi. Um, again, you don't need a ton of throws like a judoka, you just need to master very few, two or three, depending on your body type, uh, how you approach a fight, and then the uh, basic uh, hold downs like the side control, the mount, and then uh, Juji Gatame, the armbar, and the rear naked choke. Again, a classical judo pieces and arsenal of techniques, but then they can take you a very long way. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.